Welcome to the MPG Ranch IC Mountain Lion Challenge. This tutorial is a, is a quick way to use the challenge as a whole class activity for your students. The first thing to do is review the resources that you've been sent. You've been sent a uh, teacher packet that has a welcome letter, a scenario, and the scenario is something that you can copy off for the students to look at and to use as you're working in a whole class. It also contains lesson plans that you can use if you wish, but those are totally optional. The other thing that you've received is the supplemental curriculum. In the supplemental curriculum, you will see a description of how to use this in the classroom, and it goes over how to use it as a whole class also, so you can refer to that. And then there's other documents in there if you want to practice brainstorming and decision making and things like that. Look at the supplemental curriculum for that. Okay, let's get ready to use this as a whole class activity. The first thing to do would be to connect your uh, computer to a projector or smart board so that the students can see what the challenge platform looks like and where the resources are as you're discussing it in your whole class. Um, you're going to, once it's connected and the students are ready, you go to ICChallenge.com and this is the page that you'll see. In order to use it as a whole class activity, you are going to log in as one student. You've received a, in an email your teacher login and you've also received codes for student teams. You've had them create an account. You can use one student account as a whole class activity. The reason for that is the responses need to be tied into an account so that the reviewers can review them and give, this, give you feedback on what the students do. Um, if you have not created those student um, accounts yet, you can always look at the tutorial in the upper right hand corner of the IC Challenge page and that will tell you how to create at least one student account. So let's go ahead and log in as one of your students and for our purposes we're going to log in as the generic code. Okay, that's easy. So here's your dashboard. You can talk through this with the students but as a whole class it isn't as important as if you're working in student teams. So let's go ahead and go to the challenge. And the first step in the challenge is always to read the background information and the scenario. You can project this on the screen like it is here, but remember that in your teacher packet is a hard copy of the background information and scenario. What I would do if I was teaching this whole class would be to run off copies for each, each student and then project this up and we could go through it, highlight key words, key ideas and details, talk about the questions to consider, and really get to, the, to what the meat of the challenge itself is so that they're going to understand what they're researching. So next step, um, you can do this several ways. Uh, one way that I would do it, for example, would be to um, break your classroom into groups and review what's on this platform together as a whole class and then assign groups to look at some of the resources in there. For example, you might have a group that looks at all of the uh, MPG Ranch web links and looks at the live camera. You might look at, you might have a group that really looks at the general information on mountain lions. Encourage students to take notes or if you have a note taking um, protocol that you use in your classroom, this is a great time for them to practice that. Then at the next class period, you can come back together and have those groups report out about the key ideas and details that they found in that group of information that they looked at on the platform. If you don't have the ability or don't have the time to divide kids into groups, then um, and, and you're only projecting it up, I would take a look at, first of all, the general, general information about the ranch, look at those web links, then general information about mountain lions, maybe view one video or look at one document, 
and then just scan through as a group the photos of the mountain lions and talk about what the students observe. What's the habitat there? Um, what are the lions doing in the picture? Things that are going to help them with the natural history and habitat of those mountain lions so that they'll understand what they're going to work with when they um, start answering the challenge. The next step would be to get to brainstorming. Um, if you need ideas on how to brainstorm, if you haven't done that a lot in your classroom, the supplemental curriculum has a section on brainstorming that you can practice um, just really quick and easy two to three minute to five minute brainstorming activities just to get the kids understanding how to brainstorm. Um, but as soon as you feel comfortable with turning them loose, then as a whole class on the board, um, you know, or whatever, you, you can say, okay, what are all the problems that you think the mountain lions at, at MPG Ranch have? What are the things that affect them? Well, you know, and, and in brainstorming, it doesn't matter if it's logical um, and you don't, you don't stop that flow of ideas. They can just dump it out, even if it's silly. Well, like, oh, well, they don't have any pajamas to wear. I mean, that's okay if they say that. Um, just go ahead and, and put that up on the board. And then as a group, talk about what are the top 10? Let's talk about the reality of the situation. What have we learned in our research? What do we see that's going on on the ranch? What did we hear about what the scientists were saying? Um, and, then, and then star the top 10 ideas. Once you have those starred, one at a time, put them into this platform, type them into the platform so that the researchers can see the responses. So you enter one problem at a time and there's a 10 problem limit. Step two then would be the next class period. Um, and that is, okay, now you've got your top 10 problems. Let's have a class discussion. And there's a lot of great protocols that probably many of you use anyway on class discussions and coming to consensus. So what, what, are, what is the main problem that we want to work on at the ranch? Um, and guiding them to think about what the scientists are studying the lions for, what, you know, what can be changed. Um, and so, you know, what does it have to do with the habitat, with the food sources, with the, the food chain, that kind of thing and come up with one problem that as a group you think you can come up with an idea for a solution. The next one is to do the same thing you did with brainstorming which is generate solution ideas. Um, generating solutions is much the same but it's more focused than brainstorming. This time we want to try and steer them a little bit more to realistic things. Um, before you start step three um, it's a good idea, again, to reread the scenario together as a group, talk about really what are we trying to get at with the challenge? What is it that the scientists want some help with at MPG Ranch? And that will help them focus their solution ideas on that. The last step in an elementary challenge is to develop an action plan. As a group, you're going to choose one solution from the last step that you think will best solve the problem presented in the challenge. And you need to do some descriptive writing with that. Here, this would be a good opportunity to do some writing in science and um, have the students individually write um, a description of the solution or an action plan for the solution, what they think they would do. And then you can have them come together, present their ideas, and then as a class decide on which your best solution is. In the challenge it asks for a final product which could be a PowerPoint slide, a Prezi, a PDF file, a photo, an infographic, something like that. When you click enter action plan you can describe in words your action plan and then in the top bar you can insert a file or insert a photo or insert a hyperlink if you made a YouTube video for example that's where you would submit that. Once that's submitted as a whole class then 
the scientists and researchers at MPG Ranch will give you feedback on your chosen solution. So as a whole class activity, this is a great thing to do that lasts for about four to five days of a um, planning period. It isn't as ponderous as the team effort and can be done quickly and easily, but really gets at that science in the real world and authentic problem solving. So I hope this tutorial helped.